What's up guys, MMA Game here bringing you another video. This video is going to be talking about the fighter abilities that were showcased in the new video by EA Sports UFC, the gameplay career mode video, and I will leave the link to that video in the description below. Definitely go check that out. These abilities, in my opinion, are the biggest news that we've seen so far for the game. It could change so many different things, there's so many possibilities, and could add a whole nother dimension to the online play and the single player mode. And leave in the comments if you think that these abilities are going to be online or just single player, because I really hope that they will be online. And what are these abilities? Well, these abilities are what you put in your game plan. And it says, it shows that you could have multiple different game plans. There's one, two, and three. Um, I don't know how this is gonna work exactly or play out, you'll in the career you'll most likely just be able to choose a game plan and it'll have five different abilities in it i went ahead and put together all the abilities that were shown in this video on screen so you guys can look through these and really kind of start to already make your own game plan before the game's even out and you can kind of go through and what these remind me of are pretty much like perks in call of duty which is pretty cool and it's going to make for a lot of different variables in a lot of different type of fights. And the possibilities with these are really endless. There's, I think there's 16, 19, or, there's like 20 or something different ones that they showed in the video. And I don't even know if that's all of them. So I'm just pretty much going to go through some of these. It says Marathoner, recover stamina faster while moving. Very, very cool. Pushing the pace. While in the clinch, slow your opponent's abilities to regenerate stamina. So that one, the interesting things with these are whether or not one is going to be more strong or more overpowered than the other. But I really don't think it is going to be an issue because different ones will bounce off of other ones and also I just don't think it one is gonna be it's just gonna depend on how you play the game if you're a striker you're gonna want to use the striking abilities if you're the ground person you're gonna want to use the ground abilities but then you're gonna be at a disadvantage at other spots so I think it will all balance out really well but getting here we'll go, keep moving on with the next one vicious kicks this one I'm definitely gonna be tempted to use Increased damage from kicks and knees. Pretty much self-explanatory. Next one, heavy-handed. Again, kicks. This one is for punches. Increased damage from fists and elbows. I don't even know how you can combine the two. Maybe you can only choose one. There's probably going to be different, just like perks in Call of Duty, there'll probably be different like tiers where you can't just like stack a bunch of just crazy ones on top. But I do not know. Again, we'll have to wait and find out more on that. Next one. Answering deal increased damage from parry counters take increased damage from unsuccessful parries So this is for guys who are good at parrying if you time that parry right and land a counter and you get good at that This is for you But then look the, the flip side you take more damage when you mess up a parry So it's a give-and-take again good balance really nice one I definitely am gonna try to be messing with this one too because if you do get really good at parries this one could be really really useful online especially and I really hope that you can use these game plans online that I mean I just really hope because it's just gonna add an extra level of depth to the game next one is untouchable gain stamina for every strike you successfully slip so if you're really a counter striker Anderson Silva type maybe this one would be good for you you never know this one might actually be really good for me too because I actually slipped a lot of strikes in EA MMA. I do not know if it'll work the same, but I have to kind of wait and see how it plays out because some of these do have the potential to be a little bit strange, but we just have to wait to see the gameplay to see how these really work out. On to the next set of abilities. We have Vengeful, which is during health events, your strikes deal increased damage. Now, what is a health event? We do not know. They have not really defined what that is. But if I were to guess, it'd be like if you're rocked or, you know, if you get hit with a leg kick and you kind of grab your leg or if you get hit with a body punch and you sort of wince 
that would what I would guess would be a health event so that's pretty cool like if you get rocked you can throw a punch back and it'll do more damage so this one also I really really like the idea and the thought that went into these abilities this one is just awesome and it's just gonna make for crazy dynamic fights so like, if you punch someone with this you gotta be really careful that they come back and just hit you with something huge and rock you so this is just gonna be amazing next one is unstoppable force recover very quickly from the first health event sustained in a fight this is the same thing they talk about the health event and this is just faster recover time but it only works for the first health event so this one doesn't seem as useful to me but let me know in the comments if you guys are going to use this one or what ability you guys are going to use and which ones you like and in the comments let's just throw out different game plans I, I just can't wait to read what you guys are going to come up with for your game plans so definitely leave those in the comments but next one is called razor wired knees and elbows deal increased damage so this is similar to the vicious kicks and uh, but it just focused on knees and elbows so if you're that close tight Muay Thai range this is definitely going to be one to use next one is opportunist no stamina loss from performing strikes while your opponent is affected by a health event so what this one I think means is when you when you land that strike that kick that rocks or hurts your opponent any strikes after that aren't going to affect your stamina and this one is I'm definitely going to be using this 100% I'm going to be using this because I'm I'm always going to be trying to finish the fight and if I hurt someone I'm just going to go in on them and I'm going to go ahead and try to finish the fight I absolutely love this one this one might be my favorite one but I'm, I'm going to hold off until the game to really let you guys know which my favorite one is but this one's great opportunist let me know what you guys think in the comments next one is phenomenal increase the speed of your ground transitions this is for the ground guys jujitsu if you're a jujitsu fighter this is just it's perfect you're going to be able to transition get to where you want to be at a lot faster um, i don't know if this will affect the submissions or not but you never know we have to wait and see next one is warrior of attrition reduce stamina cost of all moves at the cost of dealing reduced damage so pretty much what this is is it, it it's it's kind of like you can throw a lot more but it's just not going to do as much damage so if you it's kind of like a michael bisbing type fighter he can keep throwing the whole fight but none of his punches or strikes really have that knockout one punch power so if you're more of a technical type fighter a boxer like more of a stick and move type guy this is definitely going to be probably like a boxer maybe or just a really technical fighter kind of like a um, rory mcdonald type definitely this is the ability that you want to choose next one is attack the base increased chance your leg kicks will cause your opponent to limp so if you are into leg kicks you have your own special ability attack the base this is i mean this is just gonna be crazy there's gonna be a lot of leg kickers and you know you're gonna have to learn how to parry those leg kicks if you're gonna be up against someone who is attacking the base trying to make you limp around the ring it's cool that you can even make people limp we didn't even know that so that's awesome next one is bobblehead increased chance to wobble or cause liver shot after slip counter again this goes with the slips in countering if you're a counter fighter looking for that one shot this is the one for you you're looking for that one shot to wobble and increase chance to wobble so this is just for like your robbie lawler big damage type fighters big shots that is the bobblehead moving on to the next set of abilities we have fluidity decreased stamina drain of performing consecutive strikes so this is similar to uh, another ability which just said the warrior of attrition except this one is for it doesn't drain it doesn't decrease the stamina for all strikes just consecutive strikes so if you're a combo fighter this is for you next one chess master your advancement prompts appear quicker during submissions so again this is for your jujitsu submission fighters you're gonna have the edge on someone who doesn't have this in submission so 
there you go. Next one, infinite core. No stamina drain from posturing on the ground. Again, ground and pound type guys. You want to posture up. I don't really know exactly what this one is going to do, but it's definitely for your ground type fighter. Next one is sinister gates. And this one was a little blurry in the image. Increased speed of defensive gates and decreases the time between when advancement gates appear for both players so this one i really have no clue what it means or what it could mean i think it might have to deal with submissions but i do not know what the gates are so we'll have to wait and see on that one let me know what you guys think the sinister gates one is in the comments if you can explain what you think it is that would be awesome Next one is Force of Nature. Briefly reduce your opponent's stamina recovery after a successful takedown. This is for your wrestlers and probably also your jujitsu guys. When you take your opponent down in that little time, you're going to have an advantage because it is going to make it harder for your opponent's stamina to recover. Next one is Crushing Presence. While in a dominant ground position, slow your opponent's ability to regenerate stamina. Again, if you're a wrestler or anyone who wants to be on top, this is, you know, you, you work your top game. This is the ability for you. Next one is Workhorse. Stamina costs for transitions, denials, and submissions are halved on the ground. Again, just like they gave a bunch of abilities for stand-up fighters, they gave a bunch of abilities for the ground guys too, which is really good to see. It's going to have one for any type of fighter. Any player is going to have one abilities that they like this one it's just all focuses on the ground it's it's easier your stamina is easier doesn't get drained as much on the ground one interesting thing about this is that they use the term denials which is different from reversals but i don't know if it's the same thing or a different thing we'll have to wait and see next one is fight dirty increase the damage of your strikes in the clinch and on the ground i really like this one and I'm definitely going to be trying this one out. I don't really understand the name of it, Fight Dirty. But at first when I saw it, I thought that it was going to mean like eye pokes and like low kicks and stuff like that. But it's not. It's just sort of like a dirty boxing type thing on the clinch in the ground. So this one's really cool. Those are all the abilities, guys. It's so much information and a huge thing, aspect of the game that I did not even expect was going to be anything like this in the game so i'm just so so excited for these abilities and again guys leave in the comments what your game plan is going to be are you going to be a ground guy are you going to try to stand up submissions leave all that in the comments and it's just so cool how they brought these game plans into the game really excited that's the video hope you enjoyed it leave a like if you did follow me on twitch tv twitter and until next time, guys, this has been MMA Game. Oh.